Yeah, in today's video, we'll be looking at um, the behavior of gases. We'll try to understand the factors that affect the behavior of gases. Uh, gases, as we all know, is um, one of the states of matter. Uh, matter exists in four different um, states or phases. You have the gas phase, the liquid phase, uh, the solid phase, and then um, more recently, uh, scientists have been talking about the plasma, okay? So, um, like I said in this demonstration, we'll be looking at um, the behavior of gases and those um, factors that affect the behavior of gases. Uh, in order for us to understand these factors better, it's um, important that we look at the kinetic molecular theory for gases. Uh, that theory simply states that um, gases are in constant random motion, that is the particles of gases are in constant random motion. Uh, they collide with the walls of their container. Uh, gases have no fixed volume, rather they take up the volume of whichever container you put them in. And then when you look at um, an individual molecule of um, gas, the volume of individual molecule of gas it's uh, relatively very negligent when you, uh, negligible when you uh, compare it to the entire volume of the gas occupies. Um, so having said that, our first um, demonstration will be looking at um, uh, what Avogadro uh, came up with in his uh, gas law, okay? Uh, but before we dive into that, let's um, quickly also go over these four factors that, would affect, that we'll be looking at today. Um, factor number one would be the pressure. Uh, factor two is volume. Uh, three is uh, temperature. And then four would be the amount of gas molecules. Uh, usually, chemists will measure amount of substance in moles. So we'll be talking about the number of moles of the gas, okay? So, uh, in Avogadro's uh, law of the behavior of gases, he looked at um, how the amount of gas affects the volume of the gas, meaning uh, he's looking at the relationship between the volume and the number of moles of the gas. Uh, all other all other two uh, variables, pressure and temperature, are kept constant. So here I have um, a balloon, and what we're gonna do with this balloon is to try to... Um, so we're gonna trap the air in this flux. We're gonna trap it with a balloon. So right here, we have created um, a system, a, a closed system in which um, the, the amount of uh, gas or air trapped in, in the system is fixed. So we're holding our number of moles of gas constant, okay? Uh, the pressure in the room is constant. We're operating at um, one atmosphere. So we're going to try heat up this and watch what happens to the balloon. Okay, we need to give this um, some time to, to heat up. So obviously we know that um, as we apply heat, the temperature of the system goes up and um, that would cause the molecules of, ga of the trapped uh, air to increase in their kinetic energy, uh, thereby causing some form of change in the system. And that's what we would observe to see what the change is. Thank you. 
So if you observe, you notice that the balloon uh, got inflated. Uh, this is because the gas that we trapped in the closed uh, system, uh, the kinetic energy, we increase the kinetic energy of the gas molecules uh, by heating it up and they try to expand and in the process that caused the volume of the balloon to, uh, to inflate. Okay, now let's see what happens if we decide to cool the system, reduce the temperature of the system. So <clears throat> to do this, we're gonna use um, an ice bat. So uh, I need you to watch closely what happens as we cool it down. You notice it deflates, okay? And if we, it deflates and got uh, sucked into the tube, okay? Uh, the reason being that as the gas molecules cool down, okay, the volume within the trapped system uh, rapidly decreased, okay? Again, watch what happens if we decide to uh, increase the temperature back up. Again, you notice by increasing the temperature of the system, the volume of the gas trapped inside the system also uh, increased. And if we cool it down, again, it contracts and gets sucked in. All right? So uh, right there we have uh, Charles' law, which simply states that um, for any trapped uh, volume, I mean um, uh, gas, that the increase in its temperature is directly proportional to uh, increase in its volume. All right? Uh, for our next demonstration, we want to look at uh, Gay Lussac's law. Uh, Gay Lussac, in his law, looks at the relationship between the pressure and temperature of a, of a gas. Okay, um, so we're gonna be uh, creating, we'll place the scan on the hot plate. All right, right inside the can, I have um, about 25 milliliters of water. Uh, in the can. So we would generate uh, pressure in the can by heating up the water in the can. And then we will try to place it in the cold bath and see what happens as we rapidly uh, change the temperature. So right here now we're increasing the temperature and after a while once we get the water to boil we would transfer the scan into the cold um, ice bath and see what happens to the can. And then we'll come back and, you know, try to make sense of what we're observing.